Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is who is our future spouse. So we're going to get some personality traits of the person that we are going to marry in the future. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. All right. Pile one, we have red tiger's eye. Pile two is blue appetite. Appetite? I think it's just it's just appetite. And pile three is labradorite. So let me show you. There you go. Can you you see that tiger's eye? It's red. It's not gold like tiger's eye usually is. That's your appetite with the different turquoise dark teal colors and your labradorite which is you know gray but it has that sheen can't get it to show on camera but it has that oil slick looking sheen to it all right so take a moment pick the pile you are most drawn to and we'll see what your uh, future spouse is going to be like all right pile one if you chose the red tiger's eye Let's see, what are we getting? <laughs> Two of Pentacles, Strength, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and King of Swords. Ooh, let's see. Someone who can roll with the punches, Someone who can uh, deal with whatever life throws at them. Uh, I think this person is a very busy person, has a lot on their plate. But, and the, there's persons also not afraid to take big risks to get to, you know, to achieve their goals either. They're not afraid. They they have strength. They have they're courageous. Um, but this person tends to have luck on their side, and for the most part, they are good natured probably a little sarcastic but funny sarcastic you know uh, but you know pretty good natured and like I said control with the punches so they're not going to be easily offended they're going to uh, take what life throws at them uh, strength is you know uh, it, it's a great quality to have strength and courage and heroism in 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 within your personality right to to want to be that hero um i think your person is confident and might i think has a lot of compassion well or at least will have a lot of compassion for you slow and steady knight of pentacles slow and steady ambitious but productive you know like they uh, don't bite off more than they can chew. They kn they know what they can handle, and they move at this slow and steady pace to get ahead, which makes them win the race. You know, they are um, patient, and they think before they act. This prob person probably manages money very well, very well, wise, you know, wisely invests. This is someone who will who will follow through on commitments. Um, this person, I feel like, might have a lot of irons in the fire. I, I, for some reason, I feel like this person's a busy person. Even though they move slowly, I think that they're busy. I think they have, like, a lot of things going on. So, you know, maybe they run a business, and then maybe they manage a portfolio of their, you know, investments and you know 401k or whatever and they play with that and i don't know i just kind of feel like your person has a lot on their plate and i do feel like they're going to be financially stable if they're not yet they will in the future um but i feel like your your person is the king of swords they they do like logic uh they do like making those wise decisions um they don't like to be inactive. I keep getting that they're a busy person. They don't like to be inactive. Um, I, this is a planner. 
somebody who likes to stick to a schedule, their planner. This is probably somebody who does the research, like weighs the pros and cons of things like before they make a major purchase, they're, they're researching it online, getting all the facts, finding the pros and the cons. You know, they're, they're somebody who makes logical decisions, but this person is very fair. Like they, they're someone who will always like a good deal, right? Always want a bargain, look at, like, want a good deal, but they're fair. Like they'll pay a fair price for something. Um, where they'll treat you fairly. They like that balance. So. Basket recognition and reward for merit. So that's good. And wishbone, a wish granted. All right, so your person, reward, reward for merit. So this person is looked up to. This person is admired. This person probably has treated people well on their climb to success or will or does you know depending on what stage of life they're at but this is this is a likable person and somebody and probably a person people go to for advice they do tend to have luck on their side so a wish is granted i think they get a lot of wishes granted delight they're they're a good natured person they're a delight to be around they're going to make you laugh they're going to make you smile they're going to make you feel good um because you know in general that's who they are they're they're a, a good person to be around hold on okay again kids in the background <laughs> not caring i'm making a video sometimes <laughs> I love them with all my heart but I did teach them consideration they might not remember to use it <laughs> anyway back to your reading it's safe for you to receive I think this person's well off I think they're financially stable I think they have received uh, a lot in life um, either Maybe their parents gave them a, a helping start, but I feel like like I don't feel like they're like um, like the rich kid who who was spoiled. I'm not thinking that, but I'm thinking that maybe their parents, um, you know, gave them the money to start a business, and then they were able to pay back that money plus interest because they're doing so well financially. I don't know. I just feel like your person is well off and they have received help from time to time but they're also not afraid to give help they they pay it forward if you're good to them they're going to be good to you that's the type of person i feel like they are it's not as if you needed anyone yeah, see i again i think your person is very strong very confident a go-getter uh, wise so they don't need that helping hand they could have did it on their own but it was nice to have a helping hand I feel like and your person knows that your person is very um, considerate of that and appreciative of it and that's why they pay it forward they do pay it forward or they will be able to in the future Emerging into grace. I open my soul to grace. Yeah, I, I feel like your person is a really good person. I think that's that just speaks to their personality, everything. They're compassionate. They're, you know, grateful. I, I do. I think they're just uh, a, a good human being. Children. So this means either A, you're going to have children with this person, or B, if you have children and they don't, maybe they'll take your children in and treat them as their own or be good to your children. Or, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know, something to do with children in the future. But, um, you know, it can mean a lot of different things. But what it is what it is. Take it or leave it. Take it how it resonates. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. Know what, know what is best for you. So this person, even though they're confident and they're 
strong and capable, they do second guess themselves sometimes. And that's probably why they weigh the pros and cons, right? And they make lists and they do their research because they second guess themselves sometimes. Sometimes, you know, they don't want to make a, a, a bad decision. So, uh, yeah, take their own good advice. They can probably give really great advice, but sometimes they might not follow through with it on their own. I'm so guilty of that. <laughs> I do that all the time. I give you guys advice all the time and I don't take my own advice. <laughs> not well, sometimes I do. I try to, but not all the time. So there you have it. <laughs> the hidden worlds, changing consciousness, awareness, extrasensory perception. So this person probably has a, a bit of a, a, a gift or an ability. And I think they might be open to it. They might not just be closed off to it, but I don't feel like this is something that they've really truly developed or even really truly believe in. Uh, Cause I think they're a little bit old school where they're like work hard, play hard. Like if you work hard, you'll have nice things. Um, type of that's the type of energy I'm getting from them but they they're probably why they do well in life and why their wishes are always granted is because they probably have very strong intuition so even though they might not um you know acknowledge the fact that they have abilities I think that they do let's pull some initials on this person let's see who who um who this person can be. Let's see. What are we getting here? We have... All right. D. G. H. J, L, N, Q, R, S, U, X, and Z. We have two, we have extra H's, we have like three H's. So H might be a strong letter for some of you. Uh, and a D and a J, doubles. All right, that is what I have for you, Pile One. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi Pile 2 features Appetite. Let's get some cards for you. Four of Swords, Queen of Wands, Hermit, Death. Wow. Justice. This person's been through something here. Alright. Um someone who is non-confrontational. Someone who uh, stays calm. <laughs> um, they, they, uh, yeah, they don't get heated. You know, I'm sure they get angry, but they don't, like, they're not someone who's going to scream and yell and throw things. They're just someone who is calm, non-confrontational, will avoid a fight if they can stick up for themselves if they have to you know they won't back down but they are you know someone who just rather get along um they, they make a really great friend uh this is someone that could enjoy their alone time <laughs> they might need a proper night's sleep um What else? But at the same time, they have this ambitious side to them. This um, 
like this fire that burns inside of them to like to get ahead but not in a competitive way just but ambitious like someone who really wants to make their dreams come true they focus on work but they also focus on life so they have a work-life balance this person is like confident in what they do like they don't get too stressed out they i mean they might a little bit but they they try not to they really try to get along with everybody they think you know everybody should be happy they want everybody happy um i think they're just very very friendly very social people um people a person but they also do like cherish their time alone because i feel like they're kind of busy and so when they get some downtime they kind of enjoy that they also like learning things they're they're like they're one who who just like well, they'll ask a lot of questions because they want to learn it's it's them soaking up the knowledge but i do think that they're wise beyond their years so but they might not be book smart they're more like i don't know i don't know what i'm talking maybe they are book smart i don't know who who am i to say that they're not um I just think they're always searching for like more knowledge and the answers and things like that now the death card tells me that they've gone through like a major transformation i think they've really changed their life so i don't know if this person was like a partier before because they're very social they're very social they like to get along they want to be happy i kind of think they might be a, they might have been a partier before but I think something happened and they changed. They changed. I don't think that's them anymore. I think it's because uh, something might, important might have happened where it caused a great sadness inside of them. And I think they carry that sadness with them. So they have to learn to let go of that. That, you know, they have to realize that they can't control everything or anyone. They can only control how they deal with things right so yeah i think your person went through a change in life so i i think they kind of grew up and i think it was because something tragic kind of happened um now that might not be everybody's story but i definitely feel like this person went through some kind of a transformation justice tells me that they're a decent person they really are they um, they're probably good with their words too they're probably a little charismatic like a little charming where you want to like let them win or let them have their side or because i think they're practical and they like they show you a side maybe that you didn't see or maybe you didn't want to see it because you you didn't want to be nice <laughs> um but yeah i i think that they are a, a, just a decent person and i feel like they they are cautious but very romantic at heart i think they have a huge romantic streak in them for some reason they're the type of person that would you know bring you flowers or cook you dinner or just uh, you know if they if they know you're having a bad day they'll they'll do something to cheer you up they'll go above and beyond I do like this person i really have to say i like them a lot um news of a birth or business so there you go depending on the stage of your life and if you want kids you could have kids with this person or you could start a business with this person unicorn use your intuition to make beneficial changes i think that's what this person did i think they went through a transformation and they changed their life in some way you know they could have been like somebody who just kind of you know um 
fooled around and then they decided, all right, look, now it's time for me to grow up, get my act together. And now they're on the fast track of, you know, success or some, something. I don't know. They did some kind of a turnaround, some kind of a transformation. And it was, it's definitely for the better. Courage. Yeah, your person has courage. They're not afraid. They're not afraid to go after what they want or to try new things. The, they're, they're just so easygoing in a sense that they're like, all right, well, let's let's do it. If we don't like it, we don't do it again. Or, you know, it doesn't work out. We'll figure something else out. Like they're they have a, they do have courage to try things. Clearing debt. Hmm. Your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones. I don't necessarily think that this is financial. It could be, but I kind of feel like clearing their debts is like them sweeping out the old to make room for the new. Like maybe like uh, they have to clear out some obligations or Like it could be work related where they have to finish some things up before they can move on. Or it could be like an, 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 an ex relationship, right? Where they still have some financial obligations towards that old relationship that they have to clear up. Um, that might annoy you. If it's that situation, that might annoy you. Um, but I just feel it's like they have some... Or, you know, maybe that maybe this is, um, hmm. yeah, I like, I don't feel like this, once they clear out the debt, I think it's going to be okay. Like, I, you won't have to deal with it again, you know what I mean? But I feel like at some point in the relationship, they're going to have to, like, sweep out the old to get rid of the new. And that might be, like, paying off uh, a loan or, uh, you know, it, paying off a lease if they if they rented a, a place with like somebody else they lived with somebody else and they have to finish out their lease something like that they have to clear that debt and that might annoy you but it's it is what it is right it has to be done you might not know now but you will so um you know, you might not know if this is your one when you meet this person. You might be like, um, we'll get a shot, but I don't know if they'll end up being the one. But then the more you get to know them, the more you spend time with them, the more you fall for them. Standing firm. Or maybe that's how they feel about you. Because <laughs> we are trying to, I don't know, either way, energy can be, you know, picked up on, on either side. Standing firm, I am noble, brave, and strong. I think that's your person. I think they are noble. I think they are brave and strong. I think you got a good person here. I think they've been through something, but I think you've got a good person. Finances and career. I yeah, I do think that they are focused on finances. I think they want to be successful in life. But again, I feel like they know how to balance it. I think they know how to have fun too. So it's I don't think that's a bad thing. Follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. See, your person, I knew your person always wants to learn something new, right? They seek knowledge. And I think that actually leads them to opportunities. You know, they ask the right person a question that, you know, it sparks a conversation that leads to an opportunity. I think your person's very personable and they can talk to many people and they can have, you know, different types of conversations with people and it gets them ahead somehow. I think because their curiosity is a good thing. The Light Priestess. Galactic Wisdom and Cosmic Ritual. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's a really good card, but let's let's read from the book just in case there's a message there. All 
All right. Um, before you is a temple, a gateway of the realm of light, and it is broken. It is being restored, rebuilt. Oh, see, I told you they went through a transformation and they rebuilt themselves in some way. That makes sense. Um, all you need to do is focus on the light within you. Spend time with the light. There'll be healing, cleansing. It restores all oh, that seems broken and in disrepair. So this, I, I, this is basically saying that your person has healed or is in the healing process of something that was that affected their life. It, they, they had a major transformation. They changed their life. And like I said, it doesn't have to be so totally negative. Like maybe they were a player and now they're like, no, I want to find the love of my life. I don't want to bounce from relationship to relationship or, you know, good time to good time. I want to find my one, settle down, have a family, build a future. So, I mean, it could be something as simple as that. Like, it doesn't have to be so negative that, you know, like, it doesn't have to be tragic is what I'm saying. But I do feel like your person went through some kind of sadness because they carry it with them. So something really affected their life so much that they're like, all right, now I, I got to grow up. I got to, I got to get my act together. I got to change. I got to do something differently. Something, there was some kind of an epiphany here, some kind of a light bulb moment that, you know, and I think it did stem from sadness. So I don't know, maybe it was tragic, but it doesn't have to be for everyone. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. Let's, uh, let's pull some initials. What do we got? We have C, D, C, D, H, J, L, M, R S T U X double T double M All right, pile two. That's what I got. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the Labradorite, and this one is, oh, my hip just cracked. Did you hear that? That was loud. Um, anyway, let's get some cards for you. Here we go. King of Wands. Four of Wands. The Star. Four of Pentacles. The Chariot. What is going on? What? All right, sorry, pile one. My bat, there's something going on with my computer with the uh, cord. It kept coming up like the battery saver is on, and I got distracted. So anyway, let's go. <laughs> What's going on with you, with your person here? All right, so they are somebody who <sighs> defends their beliefs. You know, someone who, like, if they're political, they don't mind sharing their views. They're, they're going to defend their beliefs. Uh, they have strong opinions. But they're not not in an obnoxious, nasty way. They're not someone like, ooh, I can't even have a conversation with that person. Um, but in a, in, a, in a way that, like, you're not going to persuade them to think differently unless you prove your point like they will concede if you can prove it to them 
but they'll they'll like debate they'll debate you because they they defend their beliefs so i don't want you to get the wrong impression but i i think your person's a good person i just think that they have strong opinions but i do feel like they're friendly and but i also feel like they're persuasive um they might get you to come to their side they might just be that persuasive but I kind of like them. So that means that they're charismatic. They, they've got a charm to them if they're like, if they can uh, persuade you to change, change your point of view, you know. I do feel like this person can be full of joy, can be full of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I'm, I'm exuberance. <laughs> I don't, that's not really a word that's in my vocabulary. I use that often, but like they're just full of joy. Um, they probably like, you know, having people over or getting together with people, keeping in touch. The star, I mean, the star kind of tells you your wish is coming true, right? So, this is probably somebody that you really wished for or they wished for you. Someone you can definitely, you know, I mean, this is your future spouse, but take it to the next level with is what I was hearing. Your wishes coming true. The impossible is possible with them. Again, that's, that's great. That's really good news. Four of Pentacles. Let's see. Someone who's driven motivated by money maybe uh they like material success H headstrong I'm, I'm getting headstrong again um but again they're friendly and they get along with people so they're not like hard hard to be around but you know i feel i do feel at times they can be a little stubborn not a bad thing. I can be a little stubborn, <laughs> so it's not a bad thing. Um, but then, you know, then you have uh, the chariot, who, who's someone who's going to be successful in life because they are strong-willed, because they do are stubborn a little bit. Like, they don't give up. They'll, they'll keep trying. Um, they can be fearless at times. But I do feel like they're driven to success. I, I, I definitely feel like they want to be successful in life. But I also feel like they're not afraid to work hard to get it either. So um, they're not someone who's looking for handouts. They'll, they'll they'll work for what for what they for what they get. All right, let's see. We've got the chariot again. A journey, either physical or mental. So it could be that your person has been on this journey. I mean, we're all on a journey, so. Maybe they moved. Maybe they they have been on a journey. Maybe they or somebody who was in the military and they, um, you know, little literal journey. Or maybe they're somebody who relocated from one place to another. I don't know. That's all I'm getting from it. So, oh, heartache over what you no longer have. That's their journey. That makes more sense now. Uh, all right, so they, they've lost. They've lost, and maybe that's why they're driven. Maybe that's why they want success, material success so bad, because maybe they lost everything at one point. I mean, this doesn't have to be a relationship, right? Heartache over what you no longer have. I mean... Maybe they had a business that went bankrupt or something. They've been through something. So now that they're now they're driven to, to do things differently or to rebuild. But they are embracing life. They really are. Um, again, I feel like your person is a happy person. They they're full of joy. They like being social. They like having friends. So I think they still embrace life. I don't think it, you know, whatever 
you know, they might be sad over something that, that they no longer have, but I don't think it's like really keeping them down. I feel, I feel like they're just moving on. They might have some resentments there, but not enough that it's going to make them depressed. God is your source because they have strong faith. They have strong faith. They know that things are going to work out for them because they have faith. It's not only about being right. <laughs> there you go. There's your, your, your person who defends their beliefs, right? Um, again, I think that they know it's not about always being right. I think they know they just... This is somebody who like picks up for the underdog, you know? This is just... It's more about being right and more about being like morally right or compassionate or fair. Just do the right thing. Flying free. Yeah, I, I do get a sense of freedom from this. I absolutely do. So that makes that card makes a lot of sense to me because it feels like your your person, you know, went through something. But even though that might have been hard to go through, whatever this was, they have now a sense of freedom where they can really like soar. They could do things differently this time. They can really spread their wings now. They're not clipped anymore. And that's what I'm feeling. It does kind of feel like it was financial, like they they might have lost, like I said, lost a business, went bankrupt, or somebody, you know, stole from them or tricked them out of something. But they released that, like they're not focused on that anymore. They're focused on the future and getting ahead and, and being successful now. So because they're not focused on that, it's a sense of freedom. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this relationship is worth making the effort for. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. So your person has been through a difficult time and they are now coming out of it they're going you know they're they're i mean i mean they could they could have went through this difficult time a while ago and they came out of it already but they're shining bright they're happy and, and joyful so they're a star and you're going to see that you're going to see what they've overcome and you're going to admire them for it Meditation, peace, relief, sanctuary. Yeah, I think they just made peace with the past. They made peace with what happened. They're moving on. They're doing well now. And they're going to continue to do well. I think they just know how to let things go. Again, that's great. That's fantastic. When you, when you don't have something that eats you up inside. It's a good thing. Pull you some initials. All right, what do we got here? Well, something is definitely wrong with the cord for my computer because it's out again. I don't know. Well, let's finish this up before I play with it. <laughs> See? D, F, G, oh, we do have an A, missed the A, H, J, M, N, O, S T X and Y. 
we have a double, oh, NZ. We have a double N and a J and M. M, N, J doubles. All right, pile three. That is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.